Hi everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. I'm sitting at an exercise bar right now so as to improve my posture while vlogging. Today we're just going to talk about a static site generator I use for my website called Hugo. And with Hugo, unlike WordPress and other dynamic content management systems, uses static files that are hosted on repositories somewhere on the internet. So for me, the repository host or the file host for the repository that I use is called GitLab. GitLab hosts my files and then processes static pages so that it generates every time I make changes to the repository. And I could publish with just GitLab, but if you want to publish a website, it's much easier and convenient if you use Netlify because it set up the domain for you, the secure HTTP TTP, which are very important for a secure website these days even if it's just static pages because even though it's just static pages another feature of Netlify is that you're able to create forms even though your website is based statically so more about that in the screencast that I'm about to do for you later when I think my baby naps or when she's asleep so that the environment is much more conducive for learning I guess and yeah, well, the simpler way to do this is to visit templates.netlify.com and then you look for a Yugo template. I started with this starter blog theme called Casper. Actually, until now, this is still my blog theme, but I just customized it a little bit. Click deploy to Netlify. Just click on whichever you're using. I'm using GitLab, so. And I think I'm already logged in. Yeah, so it's quite automatic. So just put in your desired repository name. I'll just put in Casper CMS template. Click save and deploy. And then you're just going to wait for your site to be live because that's the third step right here. Your site is live. So the site deploy is now in progress. Netlify will give us a subdomain for this new Yugo site and you can then just customize it from there. And as I mentioned a while ago, you can also secure your site with HTTPS by going to letsencrypt.org and then putting in the settings here at settings, domain management, and then HTTPS. So I think they only allow this for custom domains, so you need to add your custom domain. You can just look at the Netify tutorials on their website for custom domains. And then also, as I mentioned, you can add forms to your website. It's just a matter of looking at their docs. It's very simple. You're just going to put the form in HTML and then add the Netlify attribute, I think you call this, in HTML. And then it will process your forms for you. Plus, there are so many other features for um, under Netlify, so it's now finished, it's deployed. Netlify gives us a name by default, and this is also used for the address of your new site. So here it is, it's now live. Then you can just go to goyugo.io for their documentation to know more about Hugo, how to create a blog, blog post, and more. So that's about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. If you like this video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this for Vlogmas, I vlog every day until December 25th. Hopefully, fingers crossed, just click the subscribe button below. Thanks again for watching. Bye! Right, Audrey? It's a book. It's called See You at the Top by Zig Ziglar. It's a book for success. Do you want to be successful?